family, what's going on? It's Mr. Bradley. Happy Tuesday. Today is Tuesday, May 16th. And um, as you guys saw a lot earlier, a lot, a lot earlier, we about eight hours away from that. CC was let, I got up this morning at three in the morning to make sure my baby got out the door, got her stuff in the car and got pulled out. She is on her way to um, Phoenix, Arizona for work. She has a um, work trip she has to go on this week. So she'll be gone Tuesday, Wednesday, and be back Thursday night. So yeah, doing this thing dolo this week. So um, as of right now, I just got back from the gym. Well, just actually just got back from the store. Went to grab some stuff for the kids for the week, some stuff for they go on their lunches. And we're gonna do some hot dogs, chili cheese dogs, since that's something CC would never eat, but the kids actually like that. So I'm gonna do that as a treat for them for dinner night. So I have to grab some ingredients for that. Um, and I got some other stuff for the week. So back from the store from that, I'm actually making me a taco list taco. So it's just like a salad with lettuce, meat, cheese, and sour cream, and some taco sauce, because taco sauce has like almost zero calories. So we're still on this fitness run right now, if y'all didn't know. Um, so anyway, I'm just about to put these groceries away, finish cooking this lunch, eat, and then get prepared for my afternoon weight session because I got a lift session and I got to be a taxi driver this afternoon when I go get all these kids. But that's what's on the agenda right now. about to eat but fill y'all in on what I'm eating just told y'all so walking I call it a walking taco salad just cutting the carbs out no shells no taco shells and doing that eliminates probably like 400 calories literally the meat which is lean lean ground beef like a pound of it I believe is like it was like 120 calories the lettuce is like 10 calories per thing so I'm looking at maybe 20 calories in salad um, I'm using light sour cream, which is uh, 35 calories per, um, what was it, per milliliter or something like that. I'm using like two milliliters or three milliliters on there. And then taco sauce, which is like 10 calories per, what is it, I got the exact number, per, what is it, 10 calories per tablespoon. So, I probably about three tablespoons on there. And literally, can't have all those toppings. And still, this whole meal is probably max, max 250 calories. Very filling. Um, and I need to get ready to go into my second session. Anyway, I'm about to smash this and watch first take. I'll talk to you guys in a little while, all right? What's up, YouTube? So, I am just now, well, not just now, but left the gym uh, just in time to go pick up Morgan and Mariah. Um, I told you guys before, yeah, and their friend. Um, I told y'all my boy take Mari to school in the morning because they got lifting early. So he take more uh, Mari and his son to high school in the morning. And on Tuesdays and Thursdays, I pick up his daughter from this after school program that him and Morgan do together, that her and Morgan do together. <laughs> so anyway, leaving from that, um, and the afternoon begins. This is when the hustle and bustle starts. Uh, I got me a great workout in. Uh, it's a really, really good workout. 
number two today. It's kind of dragging a little bit, being up with CC early this morning, and, and take kind of rough to fall back to sleep. This, and then getting back up with the girls and getting out there with them, and then orange theory class this morning. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I am a little beat, but I pushed through. The end of the workout was a little rough, but we made it. Now the hustle and bustle begins because I have to. Uh, now get the girls got the girls now mari had to do community service after school um with his football team so i have to go pick him up from school go pick from picking him up from school to go get quiz from my mother-in-law's house and then back home and then we got to get ready to cook dinner um and get everybody down so not nothing out too much outside of normal what i do i normally wouldn't have to drag the girls to uh, my mother-in-law's house and I normally wouldn't have to go get Mari from school because he gets on the bus after school but nonetheless we are in super dad mode right now so yeah just about to grab him get home uh they was talking about this funny thing on the radio real quick before I let y'all go so this lady had um got it just old school stuff like typical stuff you guys see all the time i feel like this is like a story that's been talked about since the beginning of time but some guy invited this girl out to dinner and they went to like a wine bar they had like i guess they had like hors d'oeuvres and stuff but this woman decides to order like three bottles of really expensive wine and like some really expensive appetizers and when the bill came the man said okay the bill is 370 oh no 400 you give me two and I'll put two and we'll go. Mind you, he said his reasoning for it was um, all he got was two cocktails. Um, two cocktails and an appetizer. And he's still paying more than his fair share because his bill came to like 75 bucks. <laughs> so, and it's a good conversation on the radio. Um, I mean, I feel like you invite a woman out, she pay for the bill, but I don't like people who take advantage of people. Cause you know you wouldn't do that if it was just you. You wouldn't have did that. But if you can't afford that, granted, do it. That's um. That's probably my biggest advice. I know it's nothing new. Probably been said for four. But uh, if you got um, if you're gonna go on a date like that, and you know what your intentions is, you better have the money to be able to pay the bill if he decides to to bail out. Um, so. And if you're a man and you're going on a woman with a, a date with a woman for the first time and you don't know her intentions, you better make sure you either bring the big boy credit card or got the funds in the bank account to be able to pay that bill. So, anyway, um, we are about to go to grab Mari, like I said, and I'll talk to you guys around dinner time. Hey. Whoa. Hey, Grandma. Hi. Happy Grandma. Hi. Hi, baby. Hi, Zeke. How's that fam, man? Two family. What is good? We are in the kitchen. Like I said, we're just doing some basic, simple today. Little hot dogs. So, oh. cook some chili for Mari, cause Mari always be asking for chili hot dog, chili cheese dogs. He like the only one who eat them, so I bought them for him today because um, the girls probably gonna get fast food tomorrow. He probably get fast food too, but he always asking for chili dogs. And I'm like, all right, I got you today. So anyway, something simple today. Everybody getting hot dogs and french fries, chili cheese dogs for Mari. Probably throw me one in here too. Don't really eat hot dogs. Again, this is something I probably would not kick because Cece was here because she don't eat hot dogs. I'll have to find something for her, but with her being gone, it's a nice treat for Mari. So, um, and at, obviously the girls in Queese eat hot dogs all the time. So, about to eat dinner. What you doing? I thought you were supposed to be eating. Huh? Well, you can't play and eat. You gotta put your toy down. Come on, so you can eat. Because I was hitting publish on the um, on the video, so I was right here in front of my computer, so I was able to just answer it on the computer. 
So. Hotel is so much nicer than the last. All right, y'all. So, just got finished talking to wifey. She is settled in, eating, headed to meal number two on this trip. Uh, this girl's about to come back, probably about five pounds bigger. She already eat them. What are you doing, child? I was trying to pick up the popcorn. So, she already got like five restaurants that they plotting on to go to while she out here in Arizona. I'm like, enjoy it. I'm Every time you post a picture of that good food you're eating, I'm going to send you some type of video or picture of fitness because you're going you gonna to make me feel bad for not eating it while you out there. I'm going to make you feel bad for eating it. <laughs> so, anyway, um, got the kids getting ready for school. Morgan's packing lunch. Mariah is um, in the bathtub. Mari already showered. About to get Queese in the tub. Daddy duties continue. So, it's probably be the last time I talk to y'all this evening. I'll see y'all in the morning. I have a job interview in the morning. So, hopefully, good vibes on that. All right. Until the morning. All right. What's up, YouTube family? Today is Wednesday, May 17th, and we are in the middle of the afternoon. Just not poop. Just not picking up the camera. Today. We are headed to a double dip practice. So Morgan, Morgan has soccer practice, and that's where we're headed now. So we are headed to go drop Morgan off at soccer practice. Then I have to run and go pick up Marquise. Then I have to go take my mother her Mother's Day gift because I'm a couple days behind and I got that and I'm supposed to give that to her on Sunday. But they got their gift from grandma. She got her gift from the grandkids, quote unquote, on Sunday. But I'm taking her her gift from me today. I'm gonna drop that off. She like lives like um, like 30 minutes away from where Morgan practices at. Then we're gonna double back swing, grab Morgan, pick her up from practice. We're gonna go eat dinner because we don't really have a lot of time today. So we gotta eat and raisin canes or Wendy's. I haven't decided yet. Probably gonna, Wendy's. Canes. probably gonna be raisin canes. So. No. Um, get yeah, because Wendy's ain't that great. It's the best thing in the world. It's not, not the stuff, especially not the stuff you eat. You just Comment eat regular. Down well, at least it's better than McDonald's. Comment down, not, like, comment down below. Which one's better, raisin yeah, canes or us, Wendy's? We'll let us know down below what y'all think. Raisin canes or Wendy's, like Morgan Wendy's. said. Choose Wendy's. Especially, no, especially if you only get all you get is McDonald's. I mean, nuggets from there. No, you don't make the, the you, are better in the milkshake and the drinks. But you never um, get anything. Else. I guess I guess I, the the French fries are really good at Wendy's. I give yeah. them. Anyway, though, so we're probably going to be eating while we're out because practice baseball practice starts at seven. So we're going from soccer practice from five to six, baseball practice from seven to eight, and then we're going to hustle home because we have to get up and get ready. We got to get home and get ready for school because obviously bedtime is at nine. So if we leave in the field at eight and ten, yeah, that's Mari. But and nine thirty. Yeah. So anyway. Hustle home so the girls can get washed up and get in the bed because they gotta be in the bed by nine. So by the time we get home, we don't have enough time to bathe and probably lay it down. So anyway, little hustle and bustle this afternoon. You wanna come along with us on the ride and see how daddy gets this afternoon done. Kinda got the same thing going tomorrow. I'll let y'all know when we get there though. Go gymnastics. Yeah, so just fine. Let's get on our way to soccer practice. Sure. But no, 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 so, two kids, one kid dropped off. Eating a cookie. One kid picked up, and one kid, two kids eating cookies. But yeah. So, we're headed to Nana's house now. Got Morgan dropped off at practice. Got Marquise picked up, and now we're just about to go hang out with my mom for a few, and then on to practice number two. Play catch with this one. You want to play catch? So, about to play catch. I made it. 
two practices, dinner, we made it. Back at home. Eating is almost over. Um, yeah, feeling like I am ready to end this day. Don't know if I'm gonna talk to my wife today because I'm not really, don't know if I'm gonna be able to make it up there. Like she just was texting and she um, is out to eat with coworkers. So her night is just starting, her evening is just starting. My night might be getting ready to come to an end. I'm about to run some bath water, get quiz in the tub and uh, facilitate the girls um, getting through the night because we only got like 30 minutes before they get into bed, so.